A modern day man at a crossroads in his life makes a bold decision. The real reason I'm here is because I've decided to live my life 100% by the Bible. You mean in, in general, right? No, no, Father, to the letter. <laughs> yes, he decides to live strictly in accordance with the Bible. That's the plot of a new CBS comedy, Living Biblically. And joining me now are the stars, Jay Ferguson and Lindsey Kraft. Jay, you play Chip, the guy who's going to do that. Lindsay, you play Chip's wife. What attracted you to this show and these roles? Well, uh, for me, I, I was excited about doing a comedy, um, terrified about doing a comedy in front of a live audience, uh, but uh, you, you got to face your fears. Um, and, and most importantly, though, um, aside from trying to be funny, the show is, is trying to push a narrative that um, practicing kindness and trying to be a better person uh, is something that no matter what you believe or if you don't believe anything at all, uh, most people can get behind that. And that's a really good point. Lindsay, is that the same thing that drew you to your role? And had you ever done anything in front of a live audience before? Um, I've done a little bit of stuff in front of a live audience. I, you know, have a theater background. So for me, that was, I mean, I think it's the most, it's my favorite medium because it's just, you, there's nothing like it, getting that feedback from the audience. And it's just so fun. It's like the most fun job I've ever had. But I, I thought it was something I had never seen before. It was like something different, living biblically. I was like, this is interesting. It doesn't sound like your normal television show. And I love the relationship between Chip and Leslie, like a husband and wife that really actually like each other mm -hmm. and um, admire each other and have fun together and are just pals. I thought that was just really like awesome and something I wanted to be a part of. And once I knew Jay was on, I was like, yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> A question for you, as a comedy that's using religion, or the topic of religion, I should say, as a backdrop, is it a fine line you walk to make sure that you're not mocking? And how do you do that? How do you keep it light and fresh without offending people who are religious who are watching? Well, you're right. It is a fine line to walk. Uh, we've got a, a priest and a rabbi, though, that uh, give us notes on every script. Uh, to make sure that we're not taking it too far and um, uh, oh, that's really to offer better suggestions, perhaps. So yeah. they're on, they're yeah. on the staff so, with you, a priest and a rabbi? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like the start of a joke. A priest, a rabbi, and two actors are in the writer's room. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, we have that joke personified on our show. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think this show is going to appeal to non-religious viewers as well? I, I think so for sure. I've, I had friends who are not religious come and see the show and they absolutely loved it because there's something to learn. I mean, regardless if you're studying the Bible or you're religious and go to church or temple or whatever you're doing, like there, there's an aspect of it of becoming a better person and just doing good things. And we sort of go down, you know, those areas of the Bible about that anyone can relate to. And so it's, Totally universal, I think. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we certainly tried and hopefully succeeded in trying to do a show where everybody's got a voice. So, uh, like I said before, regardless of what you believe or if you don't believe anything at all, hopefully, you know, there's something for you on this show. One My character's you... an athe atheist, actually. Oh, well, that's really interesting then. That's a good twist. Wanted to yeah, ask so you, you see it through my eyes as well. Tell me about Johnny Galecki. You're talking about everyone having a voice. Well, Johnny Galecki is the executive producer, and he's, he's on the Big Bang Theory. What was it like working with Johnny Galecki in this capacity? Well, uh, Johnny and I have known each other since we were teenagers. Uh, we've never worked together, so it was a, a new experience uh, working together and a great one. You know, he's, he's such a pro and has so much experience especially in this medium that, uh, you know, having him uh, there, uh, which he is there constantly, I don't know how he does it. She, she talks about there must be five Johnny Galeckis because he's spread so thin. He's got, you know, he's doing so many things. And he's so present also yeah, with us. Yeah, that's true. And it, but it's great to know that he's got our back. And, uh, you know, for me, I, I was so terrified uh, coming on to this show about doing something in front of a live audience. So. It, it gave me a, a certain level of comfort and, and trust knowing that, that he was there. Jay Ferguson and Lindsey Kraft, thank you both for talking with us this morning. Thank, thank you, you so much. 
Living Biblically premieres tonight at 8.30 right here on KCTV5. And then stick around for Scorpion, followed by KCTV5 News at 10.